Hi guys, Chris from JNS. Um, I've got an Alpine Star shoe in front of me here. It's called the CRX Dry Star shoe. Uh, as you can see, it's a trainer style shoe, a little bit of a high top, a little bit different to the other um, smaller, lighter sort of ankle shoes that they do. Um, I'd, I'd, let's, um, there's three different colorways available, but I'll show you them in some more detail by just picking one in two seconds. Okay, so this is the Alpine Star CRX Dry Star shoe. Um, pick the brighter colour. Uh, it's not for everybody, but I think it stands out quite well. It looks quite sporty. Um, a high top style trainer type shoe, if you like, um, which is slightly different to the other trainer style shoes that they do. It looks a little bit bigger, a bit bulky, a bit more robust perhaps. Um, first of all, uh, the sole is very different and a lot of those styles of shoes that Alpine Star do, the sole is very smooth. With this one, it's a little bit grippier, <clears throat> almost like a, a trail. Uh, type shoe so there's there's lots of grip there um, uh, basically made out of a uh, I think they're all man-made fabric um, with a leather type material mixed in with a, a textile type material as well and of course when it's called a dry store it means he's got a waterproof liner inside it uh, so it is a waterproof boot albeit a short ankle boot obviously um, having a look inside there there's a uh, little strap fastened by velcro that goes across the top of your laces and they've, they've got a speed lace here with this one uh, so it's un unlike some of the conventional type laces that you have to do up it's just got a speed lace attachment there just to tighten it up and then to tuck away inside um, which makes it a little bit easier and undoing it again open it right out there's the tongue and inside you can see that there's a gusset there where the waterproof liner is inside so you're not got any water that's going to run down the sides of the lace uh, the sides of the laces like in most conventional lace type shoes um, decent sole inside here as well quite padded and comfortable um, and also looking at it it's very very flexible to walk in so it's a it's a good shoe I would suggest to if you're going to a destination where you know you're going to be walking a lot that type of shoe is going to do the job for you because it's going to be a bit a lot easier to walk in rather than your heavier motorcycle uh, type conventional type boots um, few different uh, colorways available as I said earlier on there's also got decent protection inside small bit of toe protection on the front here a little bit of a, a gear change pad on either side that's on both shoes around the back there's some reinforcement around the back of the heel in fact it's got a TPF reinforcement around the heel Alpine Star say uh, indicated by the badge here on the side and you've got some ankle protection inside here with a on the pad on the side of the ankle there as well nice looking boot um, fits very well fits really comfortable um, and they're nice and light as well really light to walk in there we go a new boot from Alpine Star that's the Alpine Star CRX Dry Star